Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Unglamorous Truths, the podcast about making it in the industry come hell or high water. I'm Chandra. I'm Crystal. I'm a Mevit. And today we're going to do a little mini ting ting, a little mini episode, and we're going to talk about the power of gratitude. Um, so this is like a very, a little bit kind of on brand for me today because I was having like a horrible morning, just so many things. You know, y'all know I got a little real estate business on the side. I'm a little landlord. And, um, you know, somebody's not paying rent. Um, a car got broken into. Just like a million things were just like going wrong. Mm -hmm. Like all day. Um, all morning. And I couldn't fix anything. Mm. And so I was driving and I literally thought about when she's was on the episode. And she talked about the prayer of like, you know, at least keep my heart gracious. I think mm -hmm. she said, right? And so I, I thought, and I was like, okay, what are we grateful for here? Mm -hmm. Like, I was just keep my heart grateful, yeah. Like, what are we, what? And I was like, my health, okay. Um, that I even have, can own something, you know, given the market is craziness. And just the fact that I was like, none of these things that are happening, none of these problems, that feels so big to me right now these they're not gonna crush me they mm -hmm. cannot crush me mm -hmm. i'm built different and like i just feel so much better yeah like immediately and so then i was like do i need to start keeping a gratitude journal like do y'all have gratitude journals i have one i haven't made an entry in a long time but i do have one mm -hmm. that's like designated for gratitude and you have to list out like daily 10 things that you're grateful for and in the beginning like it was so difficult to find 10 mm. things for multiple multiple reasons like mm -hmm. one being ungrateful and then like what am i actually grateful for and then when you're in abundance of gratefulness of like what are the 10 most like priority mm -hmm. things that i'm grateful for mm -hmm. um and then feeling like well i have to say my health then i have to say my family's health then like <laughs> <laughs> wait not know? wait not gratitude becoming pressure, <laughs> pressure. I pressure know, gratitude. Pressure. <laughs> that book became pressure like oh i'm being trivial if i'm saying I've, i'm grateful that i found this thing on <laughs> like, oh well but, you're not grateful that you got two feet i mean yes and right mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. could be yes and do you keep one um no i do not but i i have started my mornings now where the before i do anything i'm um doing like a little sound bath video with like some affirmations thrown in that mm -hmm. just like get my day started right where like again before i'm looking at emails or looking at anything in the world I'm just like taking a moment to center who I am, um, being grateful for who she is yes. and giving myself thanks um, and just like letting, pouring my own cup before I go out and do anything else for anybody mm -hmm. else. So that's that's been a huge thing. Mm -hmm. I started that 20, about 21 days ago and I've been feeling like a huge shift, which is cool. Do you ever um, feel like being ungrateful is taxing on your spirit? Yes, and your energy yeah. mm -hmm. and it, it follows you mm -hmm. it's like kind of moving with closed fists like you're not going to get yes. anything like this nothing's yeah. coming into a closed fist mm -hmm. you yeah. have to lead with that openness that gratitude mm -hmm. it'll attract more yeah mm -hmm. if you can't thank god or whoever yeah. you pray to <laughs> for what you have what yeah. incentive mm -hmm. do they have to give you more mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and you know we're in some really fucked up times right now and even with the current conflict and the war that's breaking out with like Palestine and Israel, it's just like, it is reminding me, thank God, thank God I have the choice to wake up and make choices. Thank God I get to freely eat, drink water, have a phone that I can say whatever I want on. Yeah. Um, I'm not being censored. I mean, I mean, we could talk about that. There's a matrix, but still like, I'm not for the most part, I'm not being censored mm -hmm. and like, I can wake up and pursue a calling. All of these things, like I feel loved. I feel loved. I have family members that think about me and care about me. Yeah. I have friendships that mm -hmm. matter. Like there are so many things like. Yeah. And also like gratitude prevents desperation. Mm. Because I don't, I don't need. Mm -hmm. I, have, I, I, I have. have all my needs. I have. I have. I, have. I want. It mm -hmm. would be nice. Mm -hmm. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you and I move better thing. that way. Yep. Yes. I definitely got to thank age a little mm -hmm. bit. 
you know what I'm saying, for gratitude because you know when old people are always grateful for their health and stuff, you're like, yeah. okay, everybody got health. No, and because I'm like, no. <laughs> and you know this when you cut one little finger. Mm-hmm. And then how your your day is ruined. Mm-hmm. You didn't know yep. how much you used that finger until you got a cut on it. And now you're reminded. Yep. Oh, my God. I'm so grateful. Mm-hmm. Or you ever just take a step wrong and then you like, did I just roll my fucking ankle? Am I going to the hospital? Like, I'm at the point where I'm grateful for, like, shit like that. Yes, like, mobility. Yeah. oh, I was running to catch my child. Yeah. I, I caught them. Grateful for that, obviously. But, oh, yeah. my God, I'm not going to break my knees yeah. on the come yes. down. <laughs> Yes. You don't know what God you so have good. until you lose it. I love that what you said about that auntie prayerful gra- gratitude mm-hmm. because as a kid that used to crack me the fuck up. Like my aunties that were just like every time they the greeting they had for each other was like praise him, praise yep. him. I'm here, I'm here, right? And like at, as a five year old, I'm just like relax, like give it a break. Right? Yeah, like I'm you're doing the most. Mm-hmm. Like please yeah. stop. But like my grandma, oh my god, I was just back home and like literally. She she does it in a cool way because she's so cool. But like she'll sit down and be like, ah, I just love it. Like she'll just Aww. she'll just say little things like love it. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, you know. And I'm here for it. Like I get but it. No, I think she's it's 83. so cool. Like, like yeah, lot to be grateful for. You know. Now, what is something that y'all have struggled being grateful for in the past that mm. maybe you're now like, oh, you see like the error of your mm. way. Like for me, it was like. It took a long time for me to really be grateful for our journey Mm -hmm. because I was so focused on the end results of like getting a show on the air that I would like discount everything. Like what? It don't matter. So what? Yeah, I sold however many pilots. Like and Mm -hmm. I don't got no show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have that. And it's like what? What? Like do you understand? Not only like how fortunate and privileged it is to have what I have, and that like you know. I prayed for this mm. to be in a position in this position that I'm in today. I prayed that, like years ago, mm-hmm. so I'm. It's kind of like I'm kicking my own self. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I've definitely had moments where, too, it just felt so nose down in the work that I didn't even stop to be grateful. Like mm-hmm. it, all, it wasn't like an intentional, active thing, but it was like almost not even taking a moment to even realize, oh, you're walking in the dream. Yeah. Whoa! Mm-hmm. Like, think it was how amazing. Fear? That, like you're gonna stay there and Maybe. you're not gonna grow. I honestly think I just didn't even, cause it in my head it didn't feel like what it was gonna, what I thought it would feel mm-hmm. like, you know. So I didn't even realize I was walking in it, cause I expected it to be this all encompassing superstar, mm-hmm. big big thing, and it was like, it doesn't have to look like that mm-hmm. to be a dream come true, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So I think I really could not mm-hmm. see the forest for the trees for sure at that point. Yeah. That's that moment of like arriving, and it's like, do, do you ever arrive? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Because mm-hmm. right. you, mm-hmm. you continue to set those goals, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. if you take if you take a moment of just like taking that, maybe that's what gratitude is: is taking the time to be like, oh, it is here. It just didn't come how I expected it. Like it's just not in my control. Yeah. It's not the way I saw it. It wasn't yeah. this, this, and then this. It's just like it is here in a weird, ain't that like <laughs> strange roundabout way? But we here, mm-hmm. like you know. Well, I was I thinking know. about how, like, when I was younger, you know, when you like in them cynical, cynical ages or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, I remember being so irritated. I always loved when older people were like, "Oh, I'm talking about you know that was beautiful mm-hmm. and it's cute." But like when people our age were like. I'm just so I'm just so grateful for the opportunity, and I'll be like, "Bitch, that's all you want for yourself? Right? <laughs> that's all you want is a fucking opportunity? You bum ass bitch, you ain't gonna never be shit." And I'm like, "Oh my god!" And like now looking back, I'm like, "Girl, like you're being hard on yourself, uh-huh. and you being hard on this girl. She don't even know you. She don't deserve all this quiet <laughs> smoke you giving her. And like, how could your, how much easier could some things have been if, if you had just leaned into your gratitude yes. and been like I'm just grateful for the opportunity yes. how many things would you approach like you said with open palms and gotten better results if it's just like mm-hmm. I'm just grateful to be able to share my story with you today mm-hmm. you know yeah. like at the bare minimum how much suffering could I have prevented yes because suffering is such a choice yes yes Yes. And that's the thing about <laughs> like also how you see yourself in self image because and that's that's actually comes full circle to um literally what I've been doing in the morning. It's like a self image affirmation where it's like, Oh, we can really have like self image dysmorphia. Mm. Like we can really like not see ourselves truly for who we are Girl. and how capable we are 
and how powerful we are and how fucking badass we are. And it's like, if we don't start our day or build a practice in of accurately seeing ourselves in the mirror, and, and it, even if you don't feel it sometimes, building it up, like I'm gonna pour into this until you believe it, bitch. You know, because yes. that gets in the way of not being, not having gratitude because we are not actually stepping into our power. Mm. And it's like, okay, if I'm not there and I'm seeing myself for what I don't have or, um, you know, in a scarcity space or whatever, then I'm not actually, first of all, I'm just not living the truth. Um, and second of all, so much will flow to me from a place of true like empowerment and mm -hmm. like uh, understanding myself you know and being like yeah i'm worth all of this of course because yeah. i've repeated it daily like i am this you said self-image dysmorphia self-image mm -hmm. dysmorphia i just made that up well, i like the but yeah. but but it's ringing true yeah. it's true i like that we have these perverted funhouse mirror conceptions it's of ourselves like, it's kind of like imposter syndrome yeah just like oh well I'm not enough or um, I feel like when you have that dysmorphia, you start attaching things to external things instead of just what is. And mm -hmm. it's like when you have that perverted self image, you're going to be like, when I have this, then I'll be this. And that's yeah. not the case. Yeah. The case is, yeah. is the opposite. It's it's literally just be I it. am this. Yeah. yeah. I just am yeah. this. And it's almost day. like you, yeah, you, you have such an inaccurate perception of even what you have done. Yes. What you're capable when it's like of. When you, yeah. If you wrote it down, yes. if you wrote down everything you've accomplished in your life, you would be shocked. Yes. yes. Like, who did that? Yes. Yes. Who is that if girl? If someone read your bio to you, you'd be like, God damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God damn. Mm -hmm. You know? So that work. That's important work. It's self-work. I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I think we're going to just end it right there on self-work. I mean, do we want to all say something that we are, you know, uh, grateful sure for? okay that's hard to think about <laughs> but like one one thing you don't it don't have to be your health or your mother's yeah, health yes, etc yeah. um okay i am so grateful for my ability to let you go and move on mm. i am grateful for the guy that saw me banging outside when i was locked out and was like, let me go help this girl. And he came into the studio and got y'all. I was like, mm -hmm. please go get your friend. Because mm -hmm. I was outside without a phone. I was free balling and I might not have come back. <laughs> but he helped me. So I'm grateful. I am so grateful for my newfound um, skill in conflict resolution. And not taking things personal. Like, I actively, like, in a, in a moment that, like, will piss me off. And, like, I was like, in a previous version of me I would have responded differently to this mm -hmm. but let me take a breath and let me think about what I want the outcome to be mm. and respond from there yeah that's beautiful and also we're grateful for all of you we're grateful for your time we're grateful yes. for your ears we appreciate you we hope you appreciate yourselves um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Unglamorous Truths I'm Chandra you can find me at Chani I'm Crystal. You can find me at underscore Chris Chris. I'm Amebe. You can find me at Amebe Bayane. And you can find us at Unglamorous Truths on all the platforms. And you can listen to our podcast wherever you find yours. Yay. You did that, man. You did. No, I did. Come on. <laughs>